Well, Mary, what do you remember of Coronation Day 60 years ago? Very exciting day. It was, um, we were all, uh, my, my mother and me, my brother, we went into a friend of my mum's house, who was the only person on the road who had a television, and we all crowded in. But we were going to go up to see the procession because my father was in it, in the Royal Army Service Corps band. And, uh, but because my brother went down with mumps, we couldn't go. So we sat in this lady's house, uh, watching it on a small black and white telly. <laughs> and then, you know, it was all excited. There was cakes and cups of tea and coffee and things like that, you know, with the children. And um, it, was, it was just exciting because we were watching, but because we were looking for my dad. Once we'd seen the Queen go past, we were looking for my dad. But uh, the, the service corps band at that time in, the, in a dress uniform was a, sort of a blue blues as he called it but we never did see him because they, they were sort of at the back of the procession so as it got further back he went back to the Queen obviously but so we didn't actually see him and I've never seen any footage of the service corps band Royal Army service corps band there but it was it was so exciting because we knew you knew my dad was there you know uh, and, it, and it rained a bit didn't it as well and um but it was, the room was crowded, you know, it was just absolutely crowded with, with neighbours, children, to, and watching this little television. <laughs> and what do you think of today? today? Today's event. I think it's lovely that they should do something, you know, no, nobody does it better than us, do we? <laughs>what do you remember of this day 60 years ago? Uh, resting after a lot of work. So we were the duty regiment for the coronation and we put up a um, tent in the Royal Park to house 7,000 police officers to line the route and the camp was so big it had two army fire engines on site. And then, about five or seven years ago, the, the Amatsi, the Queen, recognised I was wearing the Coronation Medal, and she actually spoke to me. She said, I see you're wearing my Coronation Medal. And I was so shocked, I didn't reply. But I will always remember it. What have you thought of today? I think they've gone to a lot of trouble and it's very nice to see so many people have turned out because it was my suggestion that started it off. Hugh, thank you very much indeed. You're most welcome.